rain around the area in the last couple of weeks. All the rivers are just like fully charged. Lots of water coming down the systems. So I'm trying something a little bit different because all the, um, the streams that I wanted to go and have a go at uh, are all murky and high and just um, really unfishable, unweightable anyway. You couldn't do it safely anyway. So I'm trying a little stream here which um, doesn't get affected by it much so much by the rain and um, never been to this spot before. It's really enclosed here. I don't know when I came here, when I started in, in the river, whether there's actually going to be any fish in here at all. But um, I've, I've walked up the stream about a couple of hundred metres and I've come to a little pool just up here. And this is a light coloured um, bedrock on the bottom and there's a dark shape there moving backwards and forwards. You know what the dark shape is. So I was pretty um, surprised actually to see that right up in here. Don't know how I'm going to get a fly to him. Um, it's really enclosed, there's <clears throat> just no casting room at all. So uh, that's going to be interesting. I'm going to have to basically get right on top of this fish and try and just um, maybe just uh, bow and arrow the fly at, uh, just up above him. So it's going to be interesting. Let's we'll see how we get on. See him feeding away in there. It's really cool to see. It's going to be interesting trying to get a fly in there though. <laughs> but we'll give it a go.
uh, two fish back in that um, tiny pool back there, both on the dry, which was really awesome. Um, just walked upstream another, I don't know, 50 metres or so, and tiny, another tiny little pool, first good pool again, and um, lo and behold, there's another big brownie in it, well, it looks like a brownie. So I'm going to have a go at this one. It's going to be really hard to get a cast in here. There's just absolutely no room at all. So we'll give it a go. Um, might need a bit of luck, but we're going to have to get really close up behind the fish and just another flick or a bow and arrow cast again to get the fly just into his field of vision, hopefully enough to get him to come up and take it. We'll give that a go and see how that's going to go. Up this little stream, probably gone, I don't know, probably maybe a kilometre. Um, we could just keep going. I um, haven't seen many fish since the last few pools, so um, yeah, I'm not sure whether that's just the, um, the habitat, the gradient of the stream. There's some nice little pockets, but up here there's not probably uh, sort of deep enough pools to give the trout a feeling of um, enough cover, I suppose, and that could be a factor. Well, I haven't seen so many up here, or haven't seen any for a little while anyway. I'm going to keep going um, upstream a little bit more to have a look at um, just see what happens with the stream, whether it opens out or whether it stays really tight and whether the pools change or anything like that. Um, just never know what you might find. Might be just a, a trout in a barn and just upstream there. So got to keep checking it out, having a look, trying new places. But this here, um, this is this epitomises um, wild New Zealand, I guess. Really, I'm way off the beaten path here. Don't know if anyone's ever been up this little stream before, ever fished it, who knows? But there's certainly some good trout in here anyway. So it's quite a find. All right, just keep moving. Looks like a big old fish. Um, just sitting over the far side under the riffle. You can just see his tail every now and then. He's about a meter below the branch sticking out the foliage over the water. Some little mission up here, really rough little wild 
tiny little stream you can almost probably jump across the stream but yet it's full of big fish well not full of them but you know every good pull there's at least a fish and every few good pulls there's a big fish which is a really cool surprise so something a lot a little different to do um, just come up this little stream didn't know if there's any fish here gave it a go and um, bush bash my way up pretty um, wild country probably never visited by anyone really but um, there's fish here so that's cool so I had a great day I'm gonna leave it here please like and subscribe stay tuned for more stuff like this I'm gonna try and get into a few more wild little streams before the weather really cools off um, and before the season closes so looking forward to doing that I'm just hoping that the weather does not stuff things up we've got a cyclone bearing down on us at the moment and um, who knows what that's going to do but fingers crossed it's not going to damage um, some of our reasonably fragile rivers and our um, reasonably fragile fisheries that uh, inhabit them so hopefully not anyway we'll catch you in the next video